Welcome to North Carolina Poetry Out Loud. My name is Danny Kyle, and I'm the state coordinator for the Poetry Out Loud program here in North Carolina. This training video will cover many of the key points about participating in the Poetry Out Loud program as a classroom teacher. Teachers are the heart of Poetry Out Loud, and I am so excited to support your journey through this wonderful program. My contact information will be on the last slide of this video. Please don't hesitate to contact me with any questions or concerns. In this video, we will cover quite a bit of information about getting involved in the Poetry Out Loud program. First, we will talk about what Poetry Out Loud is and how it's structured. We'll also talk about who is eligible to participate and how you, as a classroom teacher, can get your students involved. We'll then answer some frequently asked questions about the program. First, we'll begin by talking about the basics of the Poetry Out Loud program. Poetry Out Loud is a national poetry recitation competition. Any student in grades 9 through 12 in the state of North Carolina is eligible to participate in the competition. Eighth graders who are enrolled in a high school level English class may also participate, but otherwise only high school students are eligible. Students who attend any kind of school may participate. Public schools, private schools, and charter schools are all equally eligible, as are students who are homeschooled. The program is free for students and schools to participate, regardless of the type of school. The program is sponsored by the National Endowment for the Arts, or NEA, and the Poetry Foundation. In North Carolina, it is also made possible by the North Carolina Arts Council and produced in collaboration with Triad Stage in Greensboro. So how does Poetry Out Loud work? The program includes a pyramid-style competition which means that students compete at various levels advancing to larger scale competitions as they go. First, students will work at the classroom level. Work at this level often begins with classroom English or drama teachers incorporating the study of poetry into their curriculum. Students study poetry and have the opportunity to select poems that resonate with them. The NEA has lots of great resources and lesson plans available to use directly or as inspiration for incorporating poetry into English or drama curriculum. The teachers then organize a classroom competition within their classes to determine a winner. This winner then advances to the school competition. Next, students participate at the school level with the winners of the classroom contest competing in a competition to be the school poetry out loud champion. Then, all the school champions advance to a contest at the county level where they compete for the title of County Poetry Out Loud Champion. All county champions then advance to the state semifinals in Greensboro at Triad Stage. Students will compete in a regional semifinal on a Saturday morning in mid-February. This year's specific dates will be posted at the end of the video. The top three students from each of the three regional semifinals, so nine total students, advance to the state finals that afternoon. The top two students in the state finals receive prize money and membership to North Carolina Poetry Organization. The state champion will advance to the national semifinals and final competition in Washington, D.C. This takes place around the end of April or beginning of May. Now that we've reviewed how the competition works as a whole, let's talk about the role of the classroom teacher in Poetry Out Loud. Teachers are really at the heart of making this program happen for their students. As a classroom teacher in Poetry Out Loud, you will work to incorporate poetry into your curriculum and organize your classroom competition. The NEA provides excellent resources that are all available at poetryoutloud.org for integrating the study of poetry into classroom curriculum, and the unit for Poetry Out Loud can be accomplished in two to three weeks. If you're new to teaching poetry, these resources are invaluable. If you already teach poetry in your classroom, then you're already well on your way to hosting a Poetry Out Loud competition. 
As an individual classroom teacher, you may also serve as the role as a school lead teacher. This person takes on additional responsibilities, serving as the point of contact between the state coordinator and other teachers who participate within the school. This person registers their school to participate, recruits other teachers to enter the program with them, and organizes the school level competition. You will also likely work with a county coordinator, someone who will coordinate the competition for all participating schools within a county. This person is most often a teacher at a school that's been involved with Poetry Out Loud for a number of years, but can also be a district level administrator, someone who works at a public library, or another interested community member. Now that we've answered some basic questions about the Poetry Out Loud program, let's talk about how you can get your school involved in this opportunity. If you have never participated in Poetry Out Loud before, welcome! The first step towards getting POL started at your school is registering your school to participate. You can do this on an easy electronic form that you can access at triadstage.org learning and then by clicking on the Poetry Out Loud link under the Educators information. Registration will be available starting in late August when schools are back in session. You may want to take a look at this form to make sure you have all the information you'll need to fill it out. This information includes contact information for you if you are the lead teacher, as well as a list of other teachers that you think are likely to participate and a few statistics about the students your school serves. It's always more fun to do something with friends. Before and after you register, recruit colleagues and students to participate. Recruiting other teachers at your school to participate with their classrooms ensures that the most exciting and rigorous experience. Recruiting other teachers at your school to participate with their classrooms ensure the most exciting and rigorous experience for your students. English drama and enrichment teachers and those working in special education contexts are all great partners for Poetry Out Loud. Once you are registered and ready to go, it's time to make plans to incorporate poetry into your curriculum and plan your classroom and school competitions. Many teachers have found that it's easiest to select dates for these events as close to the beginning of the school year as possible, and also to select inclement weather dates, just in case a competition were canceled due to snow or other severe weather. If you have participated in Poetry Out Loud before, welcome back! Much of this information may be a review for you, but it's always good to have a refresher course before the beginning of a new school year. You can register your school like normal. Again, this form is available on triadstage.org learning, then by clicking on the Poetry Out Loud link that you'll find underneath the educator resources. Returning teachers are a great resource for recruiting new teachers and schools to participate. Find ways to get more teachers in your building involved. Talk to your district administration about the positive outcomes of the program and explain how you think POL would benefit other schools in your area. If you have friends or colleagues that teach in other areas of North Carolina, definitely invite them too. Next, let's answer some questions that teachers often have about the program's structure. What if I'm the only teacher participating in my school? That's no problem. Many schools in North Carolina have school competitions that are managed by one classroom teacher. This just means that you automatically become the lead teacher for your school and that you'll also coordinate the school competition as well as the classroom contests. What if we are the only school participating in our county? Also not a problem. Many of North Carolina's counties only have one high school or only one high school that participated in Poetry Out Loud. If you are the only school participating in your county, that means your school winner will automatically advance to the state semifinals. It also means that you will serve as the de facto county coordinator. Can Poetry Out Loud be an extracurricular activity instead of an in-class activity? Technically, the answer to this question is yes. 
There are a number of schools who run Poetry Out Loud as an after-school poetry club or as a part of drama club or speech and debate. However, it is highly recommended that POL be incorporated into classroom instruction if at all possible. This offers students who might not know that they are interested in the competition to be exposed to poetry and discover a program that they might not have elected into on their own. I teach at a private or charter school. Can we participate? Yes! All high school students from public, private, and charter schools are eligible to participate in Poetry Out Loud. I homeschool. Can my child participate? Yes. Homeschool students are eligible to participate. If you are part of a cooperative, it is helpful if multiple families participate in POL so that you can have the equivalent of a school competition within the cooperative itself. The winner of that level would then advance to the appropriate county competition based on where the cooperative is located. And if the cooperative spans more than one county, we would use the student's address to determine the county competition that they would participate in. If you are an individual homeschool parent or family, you can email me, Danny Kyle, the state coordinator. My email address is listed on the slide at the end of this video. You will be connected with a school lead teacher or county coordinator in your area, and arrangements can be made from there. I'm a student, but my school doesn't participate. How can I get involved? Good question. First, get in touch with your English or drama teacher and see if they would be willing to register your school to participate. You can use the resources on the poetryoutloud.org website to make your case for why you want to participate and the benefits you think the program could bring to your classroom or school. You might also want to talk to your principal or other administrator about the program and see if they would be willing to coordinate a school competition. If this route doesn't work, you can contact me and we can discuss further actions. My email is at the end of the video. Is the program accessible for students with different abilities? Yes, POL is designed to be accessible for students who may require or benefit from a variety of accommodations. You can find more information about accessibility at poetryoutloud.org, clicking on Teaching Resources, then clicking on Accessibility. How do I know what poems are eligible for the competition? You can find information about poem eligibility on the poetryoutloud.org website by clicking on the competition, then rules and eligibility. All poems are on the online anthology, which changes yearly, or the print anthology, which was published a number of years ago, are eligible. All poems that are in the online anthology or the print anthology are eligible. Students at the state level must choose three poems, one of these poems should be from before the 20th century. The website will help students know which poems fulfill this category as well. Additionally, one of the student's poems must be 25 lines or fewer. One of the student's three poems can fulfill both of these requirements, and it may be the third poem that the students choose to recite. There are a number of dates and deadlines to keep in mind as you consider participating in Poetry Out Loud. The first and most important deadline is the registration deadline, which is at the beginning of November. All schools must be registered by this day in order to be eligible for participation in Poetry Out Loud that school year. There are two deadlines that will require you to submit information to the state coordinator. In early January, you will be required to submit your school winner's information via a form that will be sent out in an email in December. The second deadline is at the end of January, which is the deadline for submitting the county winner to the state coordinator. Collecting the county winner's information will be a collaboration between the county coordinator, school lead teacher, classroom teacher, and the student themselves. Your county coordinator will also likely need information about your school winner earlier than these deadlines, but they will be in contact with you and or your school's lead teacher about these additional dates. Mark your calendars for the state semifinals and final competition, which will take place at Triad Stage in Greensboro. Additionally, the national competition, 
which the state champion will attend, is held in Washington, D.C. in the late spring. Hopefully this video has given you the essential information you need to get started with Poetry Out Loud at your school. If you have any additional questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to contact me, Danny Kyle, the North Carolina Poetry Out Loud State Coordinator. My email address is danny at triadstage.org.